At the Chakral Breathing Seminar, you said that as much energy from the earth and information from the Atman comes in, as much should come out of a person and be processed by him. But is it fair? Why doesn't a person have the right to keep some of that energy and information? Thank you. And the second question is, could you explain the general principles of meditation for preschoolers, where to start, how long to meditate, which meditations can be done, and which ones should not be done? Let's start with the first question. Yes, colleague, it is fair, because a person gets the effects of the combination of the energies of the earth and the Atman. And that effect creates something third and that something is exactly what a person gets. It can be revelation, insight, mindfulness, strength, willpower, or well-being. You know, it's like a woman who is conceiving a child would say, is it fair that I don't keep some of the male biological power in me? It's not fair, I give this example, because the union of heaven and earth in our physical manifestation is the analogy of the union of male and female. Or as if a man would say, it's not fair that a woman has a million eggs from birth and I have to produce my seed literally, every day, eat a lot, move a lot, let me take a piece of a woman. Let me have a set of eggs too. Maybe it will come in handy. It sounds crazy, but a child born from the process of mating is a manifestation of both a man and a woman equally. It's their inheritance. And it's fair. You shouldn't get offended at nature, it's more reasonable than we are. Now, to the second question regarding preschoolers. It is better to introduce meditation to children of preschool age in a gradual and playful way. Start with the energy gloves on the hands, then work with the etheric eyes. Let them close their physical eyes and see through their inner second eyes. Then let them try to feel the surrounding space with the etheric hands. In any case, it should be introduced to the children as a game. And then, over time, they will develop those abilities. They just won't be afraid of them. Why did we lose those abilities? Because we were afraid of them. We were afraid of our own manifestations. Sometimes we were scolded by adults. Sometimes we experienced the fear ourselves. It was different for each of us. Everyone has a personal memory of that. And so it was precisely because of fear that those abilities were lost. And if a child is not afraid, there is no point in losing these abilities. Children are generally more talented and capable than adults. We are the ones who literally have to start developing them from scratch, but the children just have to manifest the qualities that are naturally present in them.